the limit. That f of x is close to L when x is close to C. So I, I got to thinking about that a little bit and decided I, I'd try my hand at another song here. I don't know if this will prove helpful or not, but it's not a Disney song either. <laughs> How can we begin to tell the value f is near? Well, to see x needs to be close to c. Well, the limit that f approaches here, can we tell? Is it clear? Well, to see, X needs to be close to C. Now today the time has come to look at the tolerance and to see how we can force F close to L. To do that we must look at X and click a tolerance to keep as close to C. That is why we have two values here. One for F, one for X. To C, L, X needs to be close to C. the end of the song, but, but I do want to talk a little bit more kind of about some ideas here. Um, I've been working on some, some integration of faith and, and math with that and putting some things, especially with my interactive figures, but James 4a talks about drawing near to God. To me that's kind of the idea of the limit. X is getting close to C, what's f of x getting close to? You know, Usually with the limit, C isn't moving. Just X is moving close to C, although James talks about you know, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. But for, for the limit, X is drawing near to C with that idea. And as we do that, we get a better sense of our direction our life can go. And the whole idea here is we want X close to C to get an idea of what is F getting close to. My battery is not cooperating. Uh, another idea... Others may disagree, but popular music, most is not written to express the depth of our soul like hymns. The carpenters might disagree here, I suppose, in, in that particular song. But uh, th that's why I don't, I don't work with hymns, which makes writing songs like this a little harder, because I know a whole lot more hymns than I know any other, any other literature to, to, to think. You know, hymns and Disney. Sorry. Uh -oh. Thank you. Uh -oh. I, I do have another Disney song coming, but you know, we'll... we'll uh, Good. Maybe I'll warn you when that one comes. Now, I'm actually going to do something different with this, this particular video, and that's one reason I'm videotaping this, is I'm going to take the song and my, my discussion afterwards and put that on YouTube, because I'm, I'm trying to do a, a bit more of intentionally integrating kind of the four things I do. Uh, I've mentioned interactive figures. Uh, got to work with Pearson doing some interactive figures. And as that information get out, gets out more, I'm going to guess some people are going to look at, well, what else has this guy done? Uh, I, I run a camp in the summer. It, in 11 years, has gone from one week, now there are four weeks of camp. Yesterday, I got an email from somebody in New Mexico asking about my camp. And, and I've realized over the years, people find me. And my challenge is, as they find me, what are they seeing about me? Are they just seeing I run a camp? Or are they seeing at the camp, I, I try to integrate faith and discipline and share some about faith and how I see faith and math relating. Um, even singing, writing math songs, you know, it's a stress relief. I have begun to try to put some on YouTube. I originally was a little concerned about that, thinking, you know, I wasn't sure I wanted to be the ones putting things on YouTube. You know, is, is that, I don't know, too vain or something with that? But I've sort of come to realize people are finding me. What do I want them to find when they find me?
that's one reason I think that this is going to be the whole you know, song and this. Maybe some people will keep watching after this to see, well, what else does this guy have to say? And so I've been putting together some interactive figures related to the idea of faith and discipline, taking some figures I put together and how I see them relating. And that's kind of the idea here of drawing close to God. Well, that's kind of the idea we have here of limits. How do we get close to something? So I've been, been thinking that if people are finding me, what, what are they finding out? So I've been a little bit more intentional about trying to, to put some things about how integration of faith and discipline works. And, and that's not even, I mean, not always just in the classroom. For, for years I really thought about it as just what I did in the classroom. And I've, I've really been challenged recently about what does it look like beyond the classroom. And, and not only that, how do I let students know what I'm doing beyond the classroom? Because it, it, it does happen just beyond the classroom setting. 